Hello everyone, I'm Brian Quarry Dragon and welcome back to Microsoft Dinosaurs. Today, time traveling. Let's get started. All strapped in time travelers? Look out! There's a signpost up ahead. You're entering the Highlight Zone! It's a dimension of sight and sound. We're headed back to dinosaur time and beyond. Hang on, we're going way back where no human has ever been before. The Earth is much older than you, me, the dinosaurs, and even Ronald Reagan. The planet was born almost five billion years ago, but life in the oceans didn't get organized for nearly four billion more years. And until about 350 million years ago, nothing lived on land. Let's jump ahead a few million years. Click me to zoom ahead. Yeah, Ronald Reagan, of course, uh, being an American production of word reference, an American politician. I don't know what it is that, I don't know, ex referencing something American could have just kept it nationality neutral. It's 570 million years ago. Meet the oldest trilobites, animals that dominated the seas for many millions of years when the land was without a trace of life. Trilobites came in a wide variety of shapes and sizes from the size of your pinky to as long as your leg. At this rest stop, be sure to take a look around the ancient ocean and you'll see plenty of ammonites. By squirting water, they jet propelled their spiral shells through the sea. Welcome to Texas in the Permian period, nearly 280 million years ago. This is home to Demetrodon, a meat-eating reptile often mistaken for a dinosaur. Demetrodon is more closely related to us than it is to dinosaurs. With splayed legs, it's not built like a dinosaur, and it lived 50 million years before dinosaurs. Here we are at 250 million years ago. As big as a wolf, Cynognathus belonged to a primitive group of animals scientists once called mammal-like reptiles. Animals like these may have been the ancestors of modern mammals like you. See any resemblance? Are you saying you're not a mammal? Did you feel that jolt at the 248 million year mark? That was the big extinction event at the end of Permian time. More animals died off then than at any other time we know of, but the Earth survived. It's a warm place here in the Triassic period, and all the land is a single continent. A nice place for evolving dinosaurs. Pit stop! Argentina, 225 million years ago. Here's one of the earliest dinosaurs we know, Herrerasaurus. It's a pretty fierce meat-eater, but there were bigger animals just as nasty around in these days of early dinosaurs. It will be several million more years, maybe into the Jurassic, before dinosaurs ruled the Earth. Let's cruise forward to that era. Here we are in the Jurassic period. We'll turn off our warp speed and take a slow cruise through the age of giant vegetarian dinosaurs 208 million to 144 million years ago. The land on Earth is breaking into two continents, but dinosaurs are munching away with great success. Dinosaurs never got any bigger than they did late in the Jurassic period, nor has any other animal gotten that big except one, living in our oceans today, the blue whale. We'll stay in low gear as we navigate through the last dinosaur period, 145 million to 65 million years ago. There's a lot going on here. The seas are rising to record heights, flowering plants are evolving, and it's the end of this period from which we know dinosaurs best. Some of the last dinosaurs are the most familiar and scary. Montana, 65 million years ago. Let's get out and stretch a minute. Keep your eyes out for herds of this three-horned plant eater. These dinosaurs are gentle beasts, but you wouldn't want to stumble into those spikes anyway. Yikes! Time to get back in the time capsule and escape from this monster. And we've also got to get away from the event that wiped dinosaurs out forever. Fasten your seatbelts, we're heading for home. The 20th century! Don't fall asleep. You'll miss the fantastic scenery in the Cenozoic era. In the 65 million years since dinosaurs, there have been plenty of big, dangerous animals, including humans. We came along barely one million years ago. 
So don't blink if you want to see any trace of ancient people on our ride back to the present. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our passage through time. You can direct your own journey from here on out by clicking Contents. If you want to stay on board, click me and choose another tour through the world of dinosaurs. And that would be all for today. I'm Brian Quadragon signing out. Stay straight.